Hello everyone, it's Engage UK back again and welcome to my latest video and today we're going to do a review uh, hot off the press this one I've had it for a, a few days now but I've been busy with other things uh, such as uh, the videos that I took at the Worley show which I've started uploading and there'll be more of those to come but I wanted to do a review of this promptly because it's a, a new item and lots of people are interested in it um, because it's kind of unique. It's a first. It's by Graham Parrish, as you can see. A uh, rather big box for Engage, this. And there you go. It's the new Graham Farish class 411 4CEP in BR blue and grey livery. They've announced three liveries of this to be released. Uh, two more are going to be coming out quite soon. Uh, they're both green. Uh, I believe one is with speed whiskers and one with yellow ends. All are unrefurbished versions of this. What makes this so interesting and new is that for the first time in Ready to Run Engage, we have now an EMU unit, electric multiple unit. We obviously have lots of diesel locomotives, steam locomotives and diesel multiple units, but this is electric. It's a four car unit. Uh, it's interesting in a couple of other ways as well. They've changed their packaging. I don't know if this is a first or whether this is the same packaging that they used for their recent um, Class 101. But I don't have a 101, so I don't know the answer to that. Perhaps someone will leave me a message and let me know. So what do you get? Well, in the box, this big black and yellow box, you get four individual cases for the four parts of the multiple unit. We've got some instructions here. So let's have a look at those first. And I apologize because I'm not doing this at the normal workbench because I don't have my uh, tripod today. Um, I'm having to use a shorter one. Um, so I'm having to do this on the living room floor. Uh, the usual uh, guarantee and how to care for your locomotive on that one. This one's slightly more interesting. It's got your blow up uh, with all the spare parts should you need to replace something uh, including things like uh, speaker housing yes uh, motor six pin, six pin blanking board it is of course DCC ready and blue ribboned and you'll need two DCC chips uh, six pin standard uh, NRM chips um, couplings hmm. running in curves this model performs best on 12 inch radius curves but will operate on 9 inch radius curves body removal is the standard uh, Farish way lubrication DCC decoder fitting the model has an NMRA NEM6516 pin decoder socket in both the power and trailer cars. Mm -hmm. Sound decoder and loudspeaker fitting. Mm. Additional parts, one speaker housing, six short couplers, two drop head dummy buckeye couplers, six raised dummy buckeye couplers. Mm. And then the unit configuration here at the bottom. It tells you. DMBSO at each end. We've got a TS and a TC. That's a trailer second or tourist second. Trailer composite. Okay so let's have a quick look just in the boxes. Now getting them out is a little bit tricky because they're kind of wedged in with this piece of foam but if you remove that it makes it a lot easier to get these out. And we'll start at the top with the two uh, DMBSOs one is obviously the power car and one is the dummy um, extras here um, first impressions in the boxes wow okay that is quite incredible hmm 
this is one of the best looking models I've seen. The detail is, well, in, in terms of the just the general detail, it's of the level of the Farish Mark 1 um, coaches that they've started releasing. The underframe detail is, <laughs> it goes way beyond that. You've got curtains in the windows. Uh, right, let's get the front of this and have a look because it's going to minimise reflections and also gives us an opportunity to look at this new style packaging they've done. What you've got is obviously you've got the standard parish hard case, but instead of being in either encased in ice that opens or just in a in a sleeve, they're in this protected, hooray, this protected plastic case which is in two parts. So basically you have a lower and an upper part to this and to get the model out you have to take this off and it's kind of like a lid. Sorry if I'm not doing this quite in front of the camera. I'm leaning over a little bit. So I'm going to take the front off that. And there we go. Wow. That isn't actually one of the uh, ends. This is one of the intermediate coaches. I thought I'd packed it away the other way. <laughs> I must have put it in order in the box. I have had it out, I've run it around. It runs like a watch. It really is smooth. So this is just one of the um, corridor coaches that go in between. And uh, as I say, the level of detail on that is up there with the Mark 1s. Let's have a look at one of the, this is probably the um, power car. Again, in the um, encased in plastic, front and back, very, very good packaging, a good improvement by Farish. Let's hope this is a, a sign of things to come in terms of some of their more expensive rolling stock items because um, they're still using their old style packaging for those front off. And there we go. This is the dummy. It does have all-wheel pickup, of course. This is because it has directional lighting. Now, one odd thing of this model is the directional lighting. If I just take this one out, this is the rear, the rear end. And as you can see there, the end is really beautifully detailed. Lovely, uh, with a red blinds because that would be going away from you. And that lights up, but there are no other lights. Now the odd thing is that when it's coming back this way, in other words, this is driving forwards, it's still red on the blinds and the front end still lights up white, the head coat lights up white, which is a bit strange, but it means you have to run it really in one direction. This is the uh, third rail electric pickup because of course it is an electric multiple unit the underframe detailing is well it's superb it really is it has the electrical pickup on both sides the front bogey as i said all wheel pickup for current to light the head code again the curtains in the windows nicer uh, roof detail with the vents yeah that's really nice Okay, let's have a quick look at the motor unit. So there is the motor unit. It's uh, just like the dummy unit here, but of course it has the motor in it and they've concealed it on this end. Drives obviously. Again, really lovely detail. I mean, we've got the electrical pickup. Um, let's pop this out and show you the head. All wheel drive on the uh, motor bogey, no drive on the other bogey. Head code 50, this lights up, uh, and it lights up regardless of which direction the thing is traveling. Again, the detail around the end is, wow, I mean, jumper cables and all sorts there, really fine printing on the top, wind windscreen wiper, yeah. A stunning model, it really is. 
but I think the best thing now is uh, to stop talking and just get my fingers out of the way, put it down on the, on the display stand and get some real close-ups for you. So I'm starting uh, with a look at the ends first this time. This is the uh, motor coach, uh, the driven one. Um, light up head coats, uh, very fine numbers printing at the top. A really lovely and fine windscreen wiper on this side. Jumper cables, both sides with the corridor connection when it's uh, attached to another unit. Uh, Rapidos in NEM pockets. In the uh, accessories bag, in the um, packaging there, there's a, a couple of alternate shorter Rapidos and also dummy hook couplers knuckle type couplers which if you want to you can remove this rapido and there's a little hole here where you can uh, glue that in place if you're not going to connect it up to other units Quick look at the sides and once again apologies I'm on the limit of the zoom of the camera and this tripod is not quite as good quality as I normally have so it might move around a little bit there's a look at the side, you've got the um, electrical pickup uh, shoe there, you've got uh, fine printing, the guard's door and uh, other details, handles, and door handles, some recessing, uh, you've got the curtains and the windows, good roof detailing, just going down the body side, under frame detailing, very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, probably do with a bit of weathering there just to bring it all out. Now one small issue is as normal coupling gap comes with the standard Rapidos but of course you get the short Rapidos in the packing. Uh, you could of course since they're NEM pockets go for knuckle couplers bring that even closer and look a little bit less bulky and there is the TS which I've got attached to this Again, really nice underframe detailing. Basically of the same standard as the Farish Mark 1s that have been released in the last year or so. You've got the curtains in the windows. Again, fine printing. Very, very nice. Uh, good interior detail. Um, which is a little bit tricky to see here. I think we might not be quite low enough with the camera. Good interior detail, um, you've got tables and seats and all sorts in there. The corridor connection as well, you can see the corridor connection. It's actually on the far side, on this side. But very, very nice. Unfortunately I can't get the whole four car unit on here, so I'm just showing two of them. But the only difference obviously is that the other coach is a composite coach. So there is some first class seating and a first class uh, sign on the door on one end and the other DMBSO is the non-powered one. But again you will need a 6 pin DCC decoder to control the lights if you want to convert to DCC. There it is. It's one of the best Engage models ever released, no doubt about it. Um, I know the Class 101 has proved very popular, I think this is at the same level. The only thing that might be the slight gripe is this issue with the head codes. This will light up white whether it's driving this way or this way uh, and obviously red on the other end. So. If you've got an end-to-end -end layout, uh, that's a little bit of a pain. <laughs> but how they would have got around that, that would have been tricky. They probably would have needed a bicolour LED or to have had the head codes at both ends or something. So I think this is a compromise. They've looked at it and this is they've decided this is the best compromise they could come up with. But to me that doesn't take away from the sheer quality of this model. Um, as I said, it runs beautifully. Unfortunately, I can't attach any running clips today. I'll try and do it later because the oval is not down. 
um, but it really is a lovely smooth runner and it's flying off the shelves or so I'm told. So if you're looking to model suburban, southern, re southern region, uh, something like that with third rail, you got to grab on. Recommended retail price is about 148 I believe. It can be picked up for 120 something like that. I got this for a real bargain. I won't say how much. Let's just say it was only slightly more than half the recommended retail price. And I'm glad I did. My rating? Hmm. I suppose I've got to knock half a point off for the um, head code issue, so it's 9.5 out of 10. And let's hope this is the first of many. Uh, a two HAP or something like that next, please. Um, lovely. Well, that's all from this video. Thank you for watching. There's going to be more along very soon. Please feel free to comment, to rate, to subscribe, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll be back soon with more videos. Until then, please take care and I will see you soon.